Hello, hi everybody, happy Friday. We hope that you are all well there in Facebook land. This is your daily energy read. Hope that you're all well. <laughs> right, I've got a really interesting card for you guys today um, from my Rider Wake deck. And it's an interesting one for a Friday as we go into this weekend. And it'd be interesting to find out how it has meaning for you in this very general way. So if you're watching me for the first time, I'm not really a cat. <laughs> But sometimes I like to play around with silly filters and this is what you're getting today. You're getting me in a silly filter. And um, if you're there, do say hey, hi, hello. If you're watching me live on Facebook and if you're watching on repeat on YouTube, do say hello there as well. So, so, so I've got this really interesting card. And uh, again, sorry, this week has been, I've been really poor. I've been really poor, I have to say, about my regularity with my lives. But I've had a really interesting week. <laughs> where things keep cropping up and things keep happening um and it's just one of those things but i'm here all right so good morning lovely gorgeous amy claire from um new york hello good morning to you ashley hope that you are gorgeous and well so this is for you cat lovers out there so the, the card today meow meow to you too <laughs> all right <laughs> So, so, so you know what sometimes these filters just hide a multitude of sins because i do look like I do look scary today. I look all tired because I am. <laughs> anyway, this card is this one. It's this interesting one. Hi there. Good evening, Shell. Because I know it's, well, I guess it's the morning or evening. It's late anyway in New Zealand. So you've got this card. You've got the King of Cups. King of Cups. Who? Oh, bless. Look, it's got the cat stuff on. I love it. <laughs> so anyway, you've got the King of Cu Cups. Oh, thanks, Amy. <laughs> Right, what I like about this card and what my guides are saying, because every card has different meanings, it just has more than one, depending on whether you read them upright, upside down, if you're reading them in the verbatim sense, but the best way that I teach people about tarot cards is that you go with how it feels to you, but I have to say, my guides are being quite specific on this card. They're saying here, they're making it feel like it's outside of you, instead of it being about you, but this could also be you doing this. So they're saying here with this, 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 there is somebody else's energy that is observing what you are doing, responding, behaving, and they are going to be doing that today in order for them to make a decision about how they next show their hand, how they next play their chess piece. Um, so if that's you, <laughs> doing that my guides are questioning that behavior i have to say so if this is you or if this is somebody around you doing this they're questioning that behavior because it feels a little tiny bit manipulative in its energy now the king of cups you know cups are about emotions you know this is a gentleman in this picture if i was to read it verbatim that's somehow just sort of keeping things to themselves kind of being pensive and waiting but my guides are saying here, it's not just that, it's a manipulative energy. It's about waiting and watching to see what you might do. So this could be friend, work colleague, mother, parent, child, lover. Somebody else is waiting to see what you do before they do. And it's with manip manipulative intent because they're trying to get things to go their way. Now that could mean it leads to a positive outcome, but there is some manipulation behind it. And if this is you, think about why you're doing that, why you're motivated to do that today. Is there a gain or could it be that something backfires? Because there's another thing that my guys are saying here, while they're a little bit disapproving, I'm so sorry guys, but I have to give you what I'm getting, that is saying here that it could backfire. So if you're doing this, the energy is asking you not to. If this is not you and this is somebody else, you need to know that they are being manipulative, that they are strategically trying to do something before they then show their hands about something or do something. So again, if this is a work colleague, your work colleague could be observing you or even baiting you and asking you certain questions to see what you do, then only to maybe gazump you or show you up because it's part of their tactic. If this is a child, let's say your teenage son or daughter, they will be observing what they say to you or what, how you're behaving or feeling, what mood you're in, 
in order to ascertain what they can gain from you. So they might want £50 for something and they may be watching you to see what mood you're in. There is a little bit of manipulative reasons today with this King of Cups. And like I said, it doesn't always mean that at all. But my guides are saying here, with this card today on a Friday, <laughs> this is exactly what's happening. So, a bit deep, but, it, you know, sometimes these reads can come with a bit of a warning. I think because I've said this, a lot of you may notice this a little bit particularly more if this is happening to you. And maybe you might play your cards slightly differently <laughs> because I've said that. But it feels to me that it seems to backfire on them anyway. So, you know, if they're trying to manipulate you to get something and then they manage to get it, it feels like you'll quite quickly find out. And then you have to deal with that. And again, the same would be true if you are doing that, you're going to get found out. So be careful, is what he's saying, all right? So let me just say, read some more comments. Um, so, ah, Amy says that card. Have you picked it before, Amy? <laughs> ah, 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 Amy. Sorry, I'm going to say the D word to you. Just, like, just be careful. Um, uh, hi, Mick, hope that you're well. Emma, please could I have a reading? It's for my husband. It's, it's my husband's come back with me. I don't do personal readings here, my dear, but you can get a personal reading at my website at bettersecretpsychic.com. And I do mini readings as well, so that they are as affordable as possible. Love you too, Carol. Hope that you're well. Yeah, Claire, sorry. <laughs> I think we both know what that means in your situation. Uh, hi, Isabel. You did, Amy, great. So, Ashley says, my ex shared his emotions with me the other night, but he's a cancer. Okay, well, uh, like I said, Ashley, you might want to watch what he says to you today. Um, I th to be fair, though, Ashley, I think he's a little bit more milder in, in compared to what some people might do today. But again, be mindful that you are not being the King of Cups today also. Super important, super important because it will backfire, <laughs> is the overall message. So anyway, lovely people, that was a deep one for a Friday, but I think it's going to help you to be self-aware about perhaps behaviours you might be doing, but also to be completely aware about how other people may be trying to be passively manipulative for their own gains, um, because it looks like it will backfire. So anyway, lovely people, I do hope that that's somehow been helpful for you today and I will be back next week. Take care. Bye.